Chapter 12 The Little Thief in the Pantry Mother dear, said a little mousy one day, I think the people in this house are very kind. They keep so much food for us in the pantry. Mother replied with a smile, Well, my child, they are very good people, but they don't like us. Now remember, Grey Whiskers, do not leave the mouse hole without me. The people might try to catch you. Grey Whiskers was sure that he could take care of himself. He didn't want to follow after his mother's tail all his life. So as soon as she had curled herself up for an afternoon nap, he climbed onto the pantry shelves to look for food. Ah, here was something good today. A large iced cake was kept upon the shelf. Grey whiskers licked his lips as he sniffed it. Across the top of the cake, some words were written in yellow sugar. Grey whiskers did not know that he was nibbling at little Miss Ethel's birthday cake. When he had finished a part of the cake, he heard his mother calling him. He ran quickly and reached the mouse hole before she could get out of bed. She then took Grey Whiskers to the pantry. When she saw the hole in the cake, she was angry. Some mouse has eaten the cake before us, she said. The next day, the naughty little mousy again ran off to the pantry when his mother was asleep. He found a dear little wooden house. There was a piece of cheese just inside it. Grey whiskers ran in but, oh, click went the little wooden house. Mousy was caught in a trap. When the morning came, the cook called little Miss Ethel to come and see the thief who had eaten a birthday cake. What are you going to do with him? asked Ethel. I will drown him, my dear. Tears came into the little girl's eyes. You didn't know you were stealing, did you, Mousy dear? she asked. No, squeaked Grey Whiskers sadly. Indeed, I didn't. The cook turned back for a moment. The tender-hearted Little Ethel lifted the lid of the trap. Out popped the little mousy. Oh, how quickly he ran home to his mother. She petted him and kissed him till he was not scared any more. Then she made him promise never to disobey her again. You may be sure he never did.